so I got a guy who's my lead, right? And I tell him I'm gonna go get a new relay and new start components because I wanna do this right because this is a callback. We were just out here a couple days ago. So the guy fixed it and it worked and now it's out again. And he tells me, he tells me, check or OMOD compressor, check it for ground, check for shorts. That's the only way that shit knows. And he's the lead, Bill. Okay, and like I told him, usually when they melt like this and then they work again, from what I've seen, it's loose connections, but okay, I'll do what you said. But this guy who's the lead thinks he knows everything. I mean, look at this, look, look, at, look, at. look here. Look at that. I mean, is that not... Okay, I've done enough of these in my career to know what the hell I'm talking about. Look at that, man. It's a fucking thing that didn't... It's a loose connection, Mr. Lead. And now what's happened is up in here, up in here, this is all messed up too, in there. I told you, okay? Okay, well this one isn't all that bad, but you see what happens is this heat comes from here, it goes down up in here, and it messes all this up. Hell, I've seen them burn all the way halfway to this coil. So yes, I would like to replace this because I don't like the conductivity of that terminal right there. I don't think it's any good. It ain't like that. So, I'm not gonna listen to that guy. I'm gonna do it my way because I think he's a dipshit. Now, the whole problem with this here, and the reason that this happens, I'm gonna explain it to you right now, okay? This is the schematic, and this right here is the circuit in question. You see how the schematic shows it going to five, one wire coming off of five and teeing into it right here? So that would be like a wire nut, right? Instead, at the factory, these idiots bring in five line right here they bring it in on this wire right here and they piggyback on this and they rely on these spade connections to last and be okay but what happens is they get loose they get hot they get loose whatever and then results in this stupidity right here so i'm getting new parts i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna do it differently i'm gonna run one wire to this and i'm gonna run a wire nut the way it shows it here and the way I think it is better. Okay, I got my new parts. Okay, probably didn't even need to get these. This stuff probably would have worked fine and it would have lasted a long time, but I did it anyways, okay? This is really simple. All I have to do is eliminate two wires and make one wire. So I'm gonna pull this one out and I'm gonna cut this one here and I'm gonna have two ends, and I'm gonna connect this one to it, and that's it. Well, maybe not that's it. I did, I am replacing this and all my spades on my capacitors. If they're loose, when you put them on the terminal, you just take your needle nose, okay? And you, you squeeze them, like, I'm not gonna do it to this one, but you just take it, you know, like that, and you give it a nice little, little squeeze to make sure it goes on there tight. Very important. So, that's how my, that's how my connections are going to look in the electrical box. And then that is my, my new connection. So, this is now what is feeding my power from the black wire. From power to the load is through that wire nut instead of that weak spade connection. Okay, and now that I have reconnected power, y'all get to join me while I flip on the switch. What happens? Oh, we got a time today. Oh, that's great. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, I mean, that's that. Hopefully, y'all. Hopefully, y'all learned something from this, and it helps, and I made it simple enough. Um, if y'all don't understand what I did. Um, I don't know what else I can say about it. But this is another unit fixed properly and permanently. Well, not permanent, but nothing's permanent, you know, but in the grocery stores, in the produce section, in the sushi 
This is the sushi cooler. So, thank you for joining me. I will catch you all next time. Thank you for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that. I appreciate it.